Hello, I'm the Reverend Chris Barber, and I'm reaching out to the Academy family just with some reflections from the Word for today. I've been thinking about masks and how we're supposed to be wearing them. Uh, there are businesses that are opening up but are requiring folks to be wearing them in order to enter in. And these are, are expectations that are in alignment with the current best understanding of how it is that we can keep ourselves and each other safe. And masks are something that have been around for some time, but there's a story in the Old Testament, in the book of Exodus, that really stands out where a veil or a mask is uh, very important. And this is from the book of Exodus chapter 34. And in this story, Moses has just been up talking to the Lord for an extended period, and he has received a whole bunch of laws and expectations from God. And then Moses comes down from the mountain. And what he doesn't realize is, well, hear it. This comes from the reading. This comes from uh, Exodus chapter 34. Now it was so, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hands, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face was shining while he talked with God. So when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face was shining and they were afraid to come near him. Then Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the rulers of all the congregation returned with him, and Moses talked with them. Afterwards all the children of Israel came near, and he gave them as commandments. All that the Lord had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. And when Moses had finished speaking, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take the veil off until he came out. And he would come out and speak to the children of Israel whenever, whatever it was that he had been commanded. And whenever the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses was shining, then Moses would put the veil on his face again until he went in to speak with God. Such an interesting story. Uh, and one that seems a little odd. I mean, Moses went in to talk with God, and then he came out, and his face was so bright, shining. Um, so you can picture the the glory of the Lord had sort of rubbed off on Moses, and was and it was too much for the people. It was too much for them to handle, so he covered it up. Well, in this story, he really was, in a sense, protecting the people from what they couldn't handle. Moses wasn't even seeing the face of God. You might... Uh, recall that at one point Moses asked to see God, and God was like, you're not going to see my face. Uh, you can see my back, but you can't see my face. So even the face, of, the face of God was even too much for Moses to be able to see. But even seeing the face of Moses after Moses was in the presence of God was too much for the people of the, uh, the story in Exodus for the early Israelites. And so we get this image of God being, in a sense, hidden away, not just by the distance that's between him and them and the mediation that Moses does for them, but also the, the, the glory that maybe they could pick up from Moses. He, they don't even get to see that because it's too much for them. And Moses was willing to do this for the benefit of the people. He was willing to put on this veil, this mask, for the benefit of the people, so as not to scare them, so as not to upset them. When we look at the doctrines for the new church, what we find is this is an image of people not able to yet receive the internal meanings and the spiritual sense of the word. Um, it's not the best image, but we aren't always ready to receive everything that the Word has to offer. And it's almost like when we have a hard truth that we need to deliver, and sometimes we put on a mask, um, we put on a kind of um, limiting uh, a filter so that what we say can be received, even though we have more to offer than we're actually saying. So this here is a concept that's been on my mind. It's an image that's very relevant to our time, uh, at the very least has similar kinds of experiences. Imagine Moses having to put this on, not this, but a veil that covered his entire face whenever he wanted to speak with the people. Inconvenient, very isolating, um, and I'm sure it was something that made him feel not so great. 
because here he was interacting with the Lord, doing something that was remarkable, that we would talk, that would be talked about for thousands of years to come, and he had to hide his face away. It was something that set him apart from the people. We are supposed to be wearing masks when we're out in the world. We're supposed to be setting ourselves apart from other people for the benefit of them and for the benefit of us. I hope that we're able to abide by these best practices and these current standards until a time when we're able to be in the presence of other people more closely until that time comes again. It's nice to see you, my humans. Nice to say hello and nice to offer some thoughts from the word. Take care and be safe.